All right, so here is the trailer. It is done. Uh, maybe the only thing I'll do is put a rear fender, but right now I'm not going to. So, as you can see, it's hooked uh, through the axle of the, of the uh, rear wheel. The axle's hollow on a DRZ, so I have a rod that goes through. And then it's got a grade eight bolt that's uh, hooking the trailer to the swing arm here. It goes underneath with a nut and a cotter pin. Uh, it's got a Husky box on it, 25 gallon, which is what most people use. Um, RD250 swing arm because it was 12 bucks on eBay. I wanted a dual shock swing arm so it'd be shorter. Uh, I have a pair of these uh, gas shocks off the front of my old sidecar at home. They were just $100 eBay ones. They work great. Rear wheel is a GS500 front wheel. I have several of them because I use them for sidecars because they work really well and they're cheap. And you can see the uh, the wheel there on the RD axle works good. Um, I was going to put a one gallon gas can right here, but it just doesn't fit. I've got a gallon and a half cope in like a roto packs, but there's just really nowhere to put it. So um, that's why it's squared off like that to mount the gas can that didn't work. I put the hooks on. These are my rock straps. They fit perfect. And there's holes in the lid here, as you can see. So it holds the lid onto the base. And then I can put my, uh, my lawn chair that's too long for the box over the top. So that works out really good. And you can see how the uh, it comes through the swing arm. The nut and the cotter pin right there. And that's the whole setup right there. Um, I don't want to put a tail light on it. Most people don't run a tail light. I may end up putting a tail light. I won't put turn signals, just a tail light. But you can see my tail light and turn signals over the back of it. So I think that's all that really matters. Um, I am going to put a flag on it. I'm going to go right now down to Target and buy a bicycle flag, you know, the, with the rod with a yellow flag on top and mount it on here, probably right next to the swing arm right here. And that's a uh, two-part. That's for me to be able to see it in my rear view mirror so I don't forget it's on there. And for other drivers who sit up high that might want to swing over behind me in traffic, I want them to be able to see that the trailer's on there. So there it is. Um, my big issue just now was I got on the freeway at 65 miles an hour and it was super windy. I mean, you can see now that it's still a little bit windy. But down at the freeway, it was really, really windy, and it blew it around. I wasn't comfortable going over about 60. Um, it's empty now. I'm going to go load it up and go for another ride. But, um, yeah, it blew it around a little bit. So, windy freeways, maybe not what I'm going to do a lot of, but I don't do a lot of windy freeways with the DRZ by itself. So, anyway, there it is. Uh... I'm still working with how to hook it up and unhook it by myself easily. I've got it better than it was before, but I got a ways to go. So I'll work on that later. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, you can feel it a little bit when you're going, not bad. Uh, under 10 miles an hour in a parking lot, you feel it a lot. But once you get on the road, you get up to 15, 20, 25 and above. I even went through some twisties. It just feels like I have somebody on the back of the bike. Um, the trailer weighs just as it sits right there, the way you're looking at it, with the, with uh, just the trailer, weighs about 56 pounds. The swing arm weighs another 5, I think, uh, that's hooked to the bike, but the trailer itself weighs 55. Um, not sure what all my gear weighs. I'm going to weigh it when I get home before I put it in. I got a digital scale. I'll just hang all my stuff on it. But if I'm under 100 pounds for everything, the trailer, the swing arm, and all my camping gear, you know, that's basically just like having a, a small a small passenger on the back of the bike. So anyway, there it is. Uh, it's going to get used a lot. I'm going to go camping with it next weekend just to try it out. And uh, total cost right now is about $61 that I've got into it. So that's not bad when the production ones cost a thousand. I mean, they're 25 pounds lighter and they're nice.
they're all aluminum uh, I'd love to have one way better than what I build but $61 versus $1,000 I think I can deal with this so anyway there it is single wheel adventure trailer DRZ 400 ready to roll adios